Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a complete figure collection video. Going to be taking you guys through my house. Going to be going through everything. First we'll take a look at the Walking Dead stuff. Then we'll take a look at uh, some Dragon Ball, freaking some wrestling figures, just a few. Uh, Marvel, DC, let's go through everything. Let's see Trev's complete collection. So let's start things off with number one. Here's the backdrop. You guys usually see it from kind of a different uh, perspective, of course, from the web camera. And this is just some, and when I say just some, I do mean just some of my Walking Dead stuff. And that's part of it with figure collecting and having a collection. If you collect for a long time, um, what ends up happening is you end up freaking filling up, you know, pretty much all the space you have. And then you really, <laughs> you don't have room for everything. So yes, I have, I have other stuff too. You know, I have, uh, I have a ton of Walking Dead stuff. But in terms of what I have on display, this is what uh, I have on display. So here's uh, kind of a closer look at the figures in the backdrop. We've got kind of the season one Rick, which uh, probably should have a different head because he didn't have long hair and that. Here's Rick on horseback, right? Season one, love it. We got like season two with, uh, with Shane. We got things going on in season three with the governor. Oh, awesome, David Morris, he's so good. And then we got like the season five Rick in the middle still. Um, haven't really changed this one, but I think in the next year or two, we're probably going to have to change that. Then at the front here, we've got Juseal, who is the uh, pride and joy of my collection, right? Uh, my, my wife's name is Jessie and Lucille. Juseal, you get it. Um, so that's cool. And uh, that was actually given to me or the channel uh, from AMC. So that was really cool. It's probably, it's actually the most expensive thing I have in my collection, I guess. The, uh, the metal there is, uh, is real metal. Um, so, and I don't know why they spent the money to do that, but I guess <laughs> they sent me the receipt was in it too. It was like $800 or something. So, and I would never spend $800 on just about anything. So, <laughs> so I'm too cheap for that. You know what I mean? That's just um, a little bit above my pay grade uh, to be doing that. So, but I do appreciate it. And that's probably the most expensive uh, piece in my whole collection. Not just Walking Dead, but, you know, Marvel, DC, everything else I got too. And Morgan up there got Daryl. 3 zeros done a new Daryl, so I probably have to up upgrade this Daryl soon. Uh, hoping to do that eventually. Here's a custom that I had done before The Walking Dead became popular. Uh, like around, like I think it was like season one or just before season one. Of a, a custom comic Rick. So that's what Rick looked like in the comics at one point. And uh, like around the prison time. And we got uh, Merle there. We've got uh, some of the posters here. We got the Carl poster, which is still cool. I really like this one. You know, you got Rick, and because it's like the beginning down there. And you got the others, and then Edie, Meanie, Miney Mo got a into t shirt. And then we got the, uh, the Killing It Daryl poster underneath that, right? And there's all kinds of posters like layered here because I don't take the time to take them down. I just pile them on top of each other. So there's like, there's like 10 posters in here on top of each other. So kind of awesome. So there it is for another angle. There's the uh, the uh, infamous backdrop. Cool. And then continuing on, we got the Dragon Ball Z stuff. Oh man, absolutely love me some DBZ. Um, you know, ever since I was younger, it's it's still one of my favorite uh, anime of of all time. Um, probably will never change. I know some people. They don't like DBZ so much, they think it's like too simplistic or whatever. I love DBZ. You know, you can watch it any age, don't care how old you are, and it's it's always fantastic. We got Goku at the front there, we got Frieza, we got some different Vegetas, Broly. Uh, Shenron was pretty new, I just got him uh, for Christmas last year, so that's cool. Um, Vegeta's my favorite character, pretty much always has been ever since I was a kid. Um, might be why I like Negan so much in The Walking Dead. Uh, there's a lot of parallels you can make between Negan and Vegeta. Um, so, yeah, it's cool. You know, they start out as a villain, and then they kind of, over time, you know, kind of become bros with the, <laughs> the lead, Goku or uh, Rick, in the, uh, in the comics. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, DBZ display. Uh, it's fun. I got some mint on card, too, that I haven't... Uh, that I've got down here, uh, Beerus and some of the others. This, this shelf is like a work in progress. You know, I have quite a few of these. Um, so just like Goku, Aquaman, some others there that I've been kind of adjusting. Uh, Batman Animated Series stuff. I love this line. I wish they didn't 
kind of stopped doing what they're doing with it. Um, they haven't been releasing a lot of figures for it. Maybe because they covered mostly everybody, but man, I, I always thought this line was so amazing. And um, yeah, like even characters like Bullock there, um, different versions of the Joker, Bane. Oh man, it's so cool, right? Mr. Gordon, uh, Etrigan over there. Then we got a Professor X chair here. And then there's the Goku uh, mint uh, on, in box. I know you guys can't see it too well there, but he is, uh, he is mint in box. That's a, uh, I think that's an exclusive. Exclusive version? Yeah, he's an exclusive. But they're kind of re-releasing it anyway. They're doing one with the uh, with the emblem on it, which is to replace probably and better than this version right here. So, yeah, that's cool. And another Goku figure I have right here, which pains me. I had him in the background and he fell out and he broke his arm. So I'll have to see if I can uh, fix this. That always sucks, man, when stuff breaks, right? Because this figure's worth <laughs> over $100, probably like $150. And, um, you know, it, it just really sucks when, when the stuff breaks. Uh, I have a very small wrestling collection. And when I say that, I mean, like, extremely small. Like, I wasn't going to get into it for the longest time. And just this year, I have um, kind of gotten back into it a little bit. Um, they're pretty amazing, though, too, right? I got the uh, WCW Nitro uh, ring skirt here. The authentic scale. We got some different Hogans here. We got the uh, the uh, Hollywood Hogan there with the NWO uh, red belt. We've got the Hulkamania kind of when he returns there later on. We got some Bret Hart's in the back holding the Canadian flag. Love it. I'm Canadian. If you guys didn't know that, Ultimate Warriors over here. Uh, Andre the Giant, uh, Macho Man in the background there, and some others. Um, you know, all around pretty cool. We won't spend too much time because I did a video on this one fairly recently. But there's a Hollywood Hogan versus Sting, which I uh, love that one. And then you got Scott Hall and Kevin Nash backing them up in the background. Then over here, we've got the uh, the two guys that defeated WCW, right? Vince McMahon and uh, Stone Cold, right? Because without a, both of them, I mean, who knows what, what would have happened and whether or not it would have been able to survive somehow. So JSS, right? Yeah. So that's the office. Here's the hallway. Just got a church chan to uh, season nine. Uh, so that's fun. This is the other room I kind of got here going on. Um, and the house is, uh, it, it does need a cleaning. I'm just really busy with everything. I don't get a lot of time, that kind of stuff. Some of this I showed recently in some videos. Got like a Wolverine collection, uh, which is really awesome. Weapon X up there. Uh, Face off Captain America, awesome stuff. And I, yeah, I showed this recently in my Wolverine set right here, which is really cool, right? All the different uh, Wolverines. Um, so that's sweet. We won't really go over it again. There's a video on the channel where you can check that out if you haven't uh, seen that one. Um, just some random different uh, villains here, the start of a villain display. I mean, I have a lot of different bins of figures and stuff. It's, here's a bubblegum machine that Jess, uh, but for Jess, right? <laughs> McFarland Spider-Man. He's just hanging up by himself because he likes to fall over and I don't want him to get ruined because he's kind of rare. Um, Iron Man Armory, so lots of different uh, Iron Man armors, so that's fun. Oh man, so cool, right? Um, yeah, Iron Man is, is fantastic, right, for sure. He's, I feel like he's really stepped it up these last uh, maybe five or ten years with the movies, right? The movies have helped um, Iron Man become a higher level Marvel character. And then just some random stuff at the, uh, the top here. Over on this side, which I have showed a few times, is my uh, my Marvel, most of my Marvel stuff. You know, aside from the Iron Man stuff, is over there and the Wolverine stuff. At the top here, we got the X-Men, which is really cool. And again, I think I've showed this a few times, so we'll kind of just go over it. Uh, roughly, we've got X-Force over here. Um, going through, we got some of the newer X-Men stuff mixed in. Um, you know, some Colossuses there, uh, Schism, Wolverine, and uh, Cyclops. Uh, you know, Gambit. Uh, a lot of these are going to be upgraded over time as Hasbro releases new ones. Uh, some Sentinels, of course, is fun. Uh, Jean and, uh, you know, Cyclops and Professor X, which I'm excited to get the new Professor X. It is better than my custom one, even though I, I do like the custom one too. It's not, um, I'm definitely going to keep it, I think, and uh, probably display it if I, if I can, but it will be cool to get a, get a new one. So that's kind of the top display, which is always... You know, one of my favorite parts of the collection is all the different uh, X-Men stuff. And here we have, like, some Fantastic Four stuff, but it's kind of <laughs> kind of a mess, falls down. Um, Eagle Moss, uh, classic figurine collection there. And again, stuff just, a lot of stuff falls down over time, right, from just, uh, you know, whatever. Spider-Man down there, again, some figures falling over. Uh, Avengers in the center, 
which is cool. Um, you know, the Avenger movies have been really big these last few years. Over here we got uh, Magneto and the Brotherhood. Apocalypse at the back with the bath. I don't have the new one yet, uh, although I do eventually want to get it. But it might be a few years until I actually pick it up. Magic's laying down over there because it's falling over again. Hate it when expensive stuff falls over. It drives me crazy. I love that new Ares, though. That new Ares is incredible. Dark Avengers and some more Marvel uh, villains over there. So that's fun. Really cool stuff. And then we have our Siamese cat who likes to knock stuff over like crazy. Don't you, mister? Look at up. Yeah, say hi to the audience. Say hi to the viewers. What are you going to say? Huh? What are you going to say? Are you going to say hello? Are you going to say hi? Yeah, he's cute. He's a blue point uh, Siamese, so really fun. And he sure does like to knock this stuff over because you can see it's pretty close to the ground, so <laughs> you can jump up on these shelves. Yeah, cool. So there's pretty much the Marvel uh, section. Yeah. All right, man, now we're in the basement. So I don't have any figures on the main level of uh, my house, which uh, which makes sense because they're basically everywhere else in every room <laughs> except for here's my bench, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, it's fun in the basement. Uh, over here we got to the classic uh, turtles, which I, I love, except we don't have any turtles up on display right now. Took them down for cleaning. We just got the savage dragon. He's hanging out. He's, uh, he's pointing, right? He's like, you... And then we got, so I mean, these these placelets right here from when I was a kid, these are incredible. The Technodrome is still, you know, if there's like 10 things that I could not part with, um, the Technodrome is one of them. And so is the original uh, Turtles uh, kind of a sewer display. The background's the 2003 one, which is not bad. It, it plays for an okay backdrop for the two, uh, which is pretty much the only reason why I have it there also because it's, you know, it's difficult to get uh, space and stuff. I just picked this up this year. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It's the uh, the Batman. Uh, it's a playset. 25 bucks I got on clearance from Walmart. I mean, you can't go wrong with that for the amount of stuff that you get with it and plastic and everything. I built it up, but I haven't really used it yet. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it. Because as you can see, it's freaking big, but it's not as cool or impressive as my uh, my Gotham uh, City display, which is this guy right uh right here so like you know the street display and everything like that uh, I've shown a lot of this before Joe's Pizzeria um, Batmobile different we've got the uh, the five pack of the uh, Batman rogues gallery uh, which is awesome animated series and then on top we got kind of like a brave and the bold Batman type of uh, display Superman in the back we got some Marvel Legends on the wall which um, you know I always enjoyed the Marvel Legends uh, early series mint on card. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the specialness of these figures has basically been wiped out because they, they've re-released, it's nobody's fault, it's just that Hasbro's re-released them, so it's kind of like having the mint on card. Like, look at this Doc Ock. He was, you know, one of the most sought after, um, you know, figures to have, but now they've re-released them, so it's, it's kind of like the mint on card version of the Toy Biz stuff is like, it, it still has value and everything, but probably not as much. Or the um, the Weapon X Wolverine. I mean, this one will have basically no value when the new one comes out. Because it's just the new one's going to be a lot better. So that's the thing. It's still cool to look at, though. I still like it. You know, to get to see it like that is, is pretty fun and, and pretty neat. Um, I don't regret buying those ones, but... Yeah, we got a Batman set up here. Uh, Robin and Catwoman have fallen down, so <laughs> there's that. Um, street level type display. We got like a back alley in there with Mirror Master, so that's kind of nice. And um, Batman up here, another building here, Batman Soups, um, Dark Knight Returns, and uh, Ghostbusters Firehouse has been repainted to match Gotham, which is cool. Lobo at the front, um, Jokers, some Jokers around, which is cool. And a Gotham City sign right there, so that's sweet with a custom Batman on top. Bane, some of the others, some DC Universe in the background there. Kind of a cool little alleyway display here with uh, Red Hood and, uh, and Joker and another building. Uh, DC stuff, and then I got some more stuff on the wall here, like Naruto series and stuff like that, which never really took off that well. So it's been basically uh, canceled, that one. So, but yeah, cool. Don't know if I ever showed this, uh, Batman Begins uh, wall, so it's the same size as, there's some detuffs there, so you can see how big this guy is there. Um, really cool, got that one for free. Um, 
it's like a wall poster, so that's a wall board type, a cardboard poster type of deal. Kind of bright over here, so I'll try to veer away from it. And, um, you know, basically here, got Galactus who's just in there. Some stuff is just kind of <laughs> around because got to find room for it as I clean and move stuff. And you guys know how it goes. When you have too much stuff, it gets kind of cluttered. We got the, uh, the Batwing in the back there, and then we have the uh, Batman Forever. Uh, playset, which has got, you know, some different Batman on it, that kind of thing. Um, there's a Minton card, DC Superheroes, so that's fun. And I did create a custom base for this. So what do you guys think of that? I think that looks pretty neat. What do you think? You got like the, uh, um, you know, like just some just some rocks and stuff like that. It's basically paper mache. That part is supposed to be water. Uh, and you got the bat boat. Up here we've got um, kind of the bat computer and uh, a Dark Knight, sort of Alfred, Batman kind of thing going. Um, same kind of deal over here and over there. And yeah, and then this this Bruce uh, Wayne, his head's falling off. It's right to, it's right there, right? So <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. So that's kind of this whole side of like my basement, you know what I mean, is taken up. So it goes in from the Batman Forever Batcave, Diorama, into sort of Gotham City and then all the way down with uh, with the Gotham City across pretty much the whole the whole of the uh, the basement and then I do have this too which is pretty sweet uh, Dark Knight um, you know Christian Bale Batman cardboard standee so that's pretty sweet there um, yeah that's that's awesome right I got some different got some uh, weights around here stuff like that um, and then these these details I think I've shown a few times it's kind of dark over here so let me see if I get a light for us going um, so we got like uh, you know some hot toys, which uh, you know at this point they're pretty uh, kind of played out. I've shown them a bunch of times. '89 stuff, right? Which is really cool. Um, Batman, that's kind of reflecting. Batman Begins, right? And uh, I'm still one day. I want to get the hot toys. Dark Knight, Batman. One day. I don't know how long it's going to take. Eventually, I want to do it. I've got the Batman Begins one, but. I really want the Dark Knight one because that was the best stuff. I do have another Doomsday um, from the subscription Mint, so that's kind of cool. Mint on uh, on cards, so I have two of them, right? And I'm going to hold on to that one for probably 10, maybe 20 years. I think it'd probably be a good a good deal to hang on to that one because it's pretty rare. And then uh, eventually, if I decide I want to sell the Mint on card one, I could probably do that um, and probably turn maybe a bit of a profit. But we'll see. I'm not a scalper, by the way. I just you know, sometimes I buy two. And then, you know, I just keep one, and here's the, uh, here's the one I opened, of course. And, um, you know, I give people a good value. When I sell stuff, I don't mark it up, like, to the absolute maximum. I give people a good deal, but at the same time, you can't ignore that sometimes figures can double, triple, quadruple in price. So, that's kind of cool, too. Uh, just some stuff around, because I was cleaning the Gotham City, so some different uh, DC stuff. You know, down there, who do we got? We got, uh, yeah. Kilowog and uh, Darkseid, some of the others. Here's the uh, variant uh, Apocalypse. Um, and then kind of a turtle mess right here when I was cleaning. And um, others kind of right here. At the top we got like Metron and, and the other box there. In the back there, there's the uh, the turtle's uh, van, which is cool. I got that. That's the re-release from just a couple years ago. Custom Age of Apocalypse Apocalypse. And that's it, man, for as far as stuff I have uh, space to put on display, right? I mean, I have a lot more stuff. I have probably double to three times as much stuff in bins, but this is as much stuff as I can actually, you know, set up to display. I have most of the DC Universe collection. DC Universe Classics, I have basically everything. Marvel Legends, I have pretty much all the Toy Biz stuff, and, um, you know, a lot of the other stuff kind of just missing some. So I do collect a lot of different stuff, and, um, you know, you, you definitely won't have space for everything. And I've been collecting again for, I'd say, 12 years. But the last couple of years, I've really cut back um, just because, you know, try to be responsible, that kind of stuff. Sometimes you, <laughs> you get carried away with buying too much stuff and you don't want to get yourself uh, in trouble. You got to think you always got to put your family first, right, and, and yourself. So, you know, make sure to, you know, match your, uh, your, <laughs> your work contributions. Uh, if your work offers, you know, pension plan, that kind of stuff. You want to do that. You don't want to miss out on you know opportunities like that because you're buying toys, right? <laughs> so you gotta be you gotta be responsible at the same time and put it in the right bin. Like this stuff is all fun stuff, and uh, it's not 
it's not the type of it's not life or death right so you know if you have to sell it whatever sometimes you got to do that if you fall in hard times you lose your job whatever this kind of stuff it happens you know over the years for sure so uh, you can still collect and have fun and everything and obviously you know I like to do that um, and at the same time you can you know you can save some too if you can and and be responsible and you know uh, take care of things too so um, it might look like I got really carried away here with buying stuff but you guys have to understand that I've been collecting for like I said 12 years and then even when I was younger and I get stuff for Christmas and stuff like that uh, some of the stuff I still have so uh, yeah man fun hobby for sure and I'm sure that you know if you add up the years and you look at how much it costs per year I'm sure there's people that spend more money than this collection costs on probably drinking smoking all kinds of different stuff, right? The video games for some guys, right? Some guys Steam. One of my friends, his Steam games were like, you know, <laughs> he had like, like hundreds, of, you know, thousands of Steam games. And I just did the math. I'm like, that's like 50 grand on Steam games. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. So it adds up over the years for sure. Uh, but you know, I love this hobby. It's a lot of fun, and I'm certainly very proud of of the collection that I've I've built up. And some pieces I pretty much will not get rid of until. You know, until I get very old, I uh, like the Batman Forever Batcave. There, I actually got that. Um, you know, with some uh, inheritance money I got when my uh, my grandma passed away. So, uh, so some of the stuff is really, you know, can be sentimental. Some of the stuff can be really can mean a lot to you. So it's cool stuff. Anyway, that'll be it for this video, guys. I hope you like taking a look at Trev's total complete collection of stuff that's on display. Anyway, again, multiply it by two for stuff that's in bins and packages and and whatnot. Um, but that's all I can really show you right now that I have room to show you. Okay, I hope you liked the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. And I'll see you guys again soon. As always, this is Trev. And I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon. What is it? You tired? Are you tired or are you hungry? Huh? Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's so exciting. Oh, my gosh. Are you tired or are you hungry? You want some chicken? Mister? Yeah?